When I played this track as a kid on GT4 and 5, I remember fucking hating it because it was so hard and it seemed impossible to memorize a track with what 170 turns. You know, we're used to the one and a half minute lap times, but not seven fucking minutes, man. And the moment you messed up and went off the track, you'd have to restart, you know, it'd ruin the flow and everything, so it was pretty frustrating. But it's amazing how with a bit of practice, the human brain can learn and memorize 15 minute songs on an instrument, or even 2,000 word essays when it's broken down into chunks. And thank God for rewinds, because you can learn so quickly with them. And one of my favorite childhood memories was racing the Vettel Red Bull X2010. Like, that thing was just fucking wild, being able to take turns at 400 kilometers an hour. And just like this F1 car, it was so hard to use at first. And you really had to get used to it. But once you did, it was the most satisfying thing ever. And the sense of speed was like a drug. You gotta love the intensity and the rush you get from all the micro adjustments you gotta make every second. And I have this suggested line on because it adds to that sense of speed, especially in the ground camera view, and it's almost like visual ASMR to me. I also hate having assists on, but to be competitive with this car, you basically need TCS on to suck every possible millisecond you can. I managed a 457 without any assists on, but seeing as though all the top 50 are using assists, I thought I'd give the leaderboard a crack. One thing worth noting though is I did this on a steering wheel, and since they made the game for controllers, the game is actually harder on a wheel. And the biggest difference between the two is probably coming out of the turn and accelerating. On control of the game, it straightens you out and lets you accelerate a lot earlier, no problems. But with the wheel, it likes to think you're still fucking turning and it overcorrects you. So if you accelerate at all, it spins you out. And you'll see me mess up plenty of times with this exact issue, but if I play around with the settings enough and sink enough hours in, I can probably smooth it all out and shave a good five seconds or something off my mind.